Hello and welcome. My name is Martin Percher of ABES and I would like to take you through a series of videos describing our geometry control software. This software is structured into three modules module Geodes, module Geocon and module Asemcon and uh, we will prepare together in this uh, series of videos a little example that takes you through the whole process of modeling a segmental bridge in Geodes, then uh, simulating the casting process in the casting yard using module Geocon and then finally assembling the individual segments to form a bridge and control the geometry during erection using module Asymcon. This sketch is taken out of the uh, Getting Started manual and uh, it illustrates the example that we will be dealing with in the following. The same example is also uh, described in the mentioned Getting Started manual which can be downloaded from our website and which probably has a little bit more detail in it if people want to uh, use it. The example is a simple balanced cantilever with a pier segment here in the middle and eight match cast segments on each side to form the balanced cantilevers. The bridge is aligned on a very tight curve shown here in red 100 meter radius in plan view and also this alignment will be placed at an offset to the segment center line. The segment center line can be imagined here as a connection of these control points that run down the middle of the segments. And talking of control points, there will be six control points per segment, a choice that we make and we could use any other number of control points. Uh, two control points on each side above the webs and one control point in the middle. Three control points at each joint. This is of course not a very practical or realistic example but it serves well to illustrate the concepts and main ideas behind the software and hopefully after working through this uh, example people will be able to apply these concepts and ideas to more practical and more realistic projects. Double clicking on the uh, Geodes icon brings up the input screen of ABS Geodes as we see it here in front of us and just using the typical Windows conventions we can use the file menu and launch a new project. If there is more than one license uh, stored on our dongle then we need to select the license that we wish to use in the, uh, in, on the project and uh, that's what I'm doing here and finally we will need to give this new project a name under which it will be stored. Getting started 01 will be the name of our little project here and um, GDB will be the file extension for all Geodes files. This brings up the start or an empty project uh, but before we get into uh, the actual modeling I would like to step back one more time and briefly explain the workflow that we will be following within ABS Geodes. This diagram is taken again from the Getting Started manual and it illustrates in very general terms the workflow uh, applied within ABS Geodes. Uh, ABS Geodes manages a number of different objects and all these objects are compiled into bridge module models that can then be exported and used in other software components such as ABS Geocon. Axis uh, describe the longitudinal shape, the general longitudinal shape 
of the bridge. The axes are sometimes called setting outlines or bridge alignments, but in essence they are three-dimensional lines following certain rules that describe the longitudinal general shape of a bridge. Cross sections uh, can be defined in great detail and can then be extruded into segments. And segments in turn can be grouped together into what we call segment groups. Typical segment groups would be a span or a cantilever, typical components of a bridge in other words. These segment groups are then placed onto the axis and each segment is then put in its place and aligned along the axis following certain rules. Once this is all complete, we end up with a very detailed model of a bridge that can be used in other contexts. We are back now in the Geodes user interface. The object tree here on the left is an illustration of the structure that we've just discussed and we can already see empty folders for various objects that were mentioned in the sketch. Axis for example, cross sections, segments, segment group and bridges. There are other objects in here as well and we will touch upon them as we proceed through this a series of videos on the getting started example. On the top here we see the typical Windows drop-down menus. We've already used the file menu and there are various uh, settings for the program. We will use these things as we go along. There is also an information window here that shows the license that we are using and how the validity of the license and there are various other functions which we will use in the following. Down here we have a window for the display of uh, various uh, status reports and warning and error messages and down here at the very bottom we also have a, a line with certain status manage, uh, messages that are sometimes worth considering. This empty area here in the middle won't stay empty for much longer all the input dialogues that are used to provide the information about the, the individual objects will be displaced in that area. All the uh, program drawings and listings will also be displayed here. We will get to this in the subsequent videos. This video concludes now and uh, I hope to see you again in the, in the second video which will talk about access definitions.